Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at something different from the Monster Jam license and this is the Kevin Harvick NASCAR number four diecast by Lionel Racing. This is super cool and as you guys know I don't really ever branch out beyond monster trucks but this is a very very unique opportunity to review something that is still Monster Jam licensed but not typically what I would review. I do want to say right off the bat I am not a NASCAR fan as far as a super fan of it or have any NASCAR based knowledge at all. So today's review is just going to be kind of a layout of what I see on this car. Obviously I know a basic amount of what this is but i don't know the specific details like i do with actual monster jam trucks so please bear with me if i don't mention specific terms or know everything about this i just wanted to review it because it's a super cool piece i'm really happy to have one and i just wanted to have it on my channel so without any further delay here is the kevin harvick number four grave digger library by lionel for the monster jam collaboration so here we go the packaging is pretty uh, basic as far as what it shows. It has some pretty cool stuff as far as official uh, NASCAR stickers go. Uh, it says his name, number four. This was part of 2021. They're just now getting out to the public though. And I want to say thank you to Donald Price Jr., my friend, for helping me get one of these. I did really want one and I ended up actually trading him a uh, truck for it. So here it is. It is the standard finish, not the Elite model. The Elite model is a metal base. It has much more detail as far as I've heard or know. Um, but as far as that goes, I don't know what else is different. Uh, I do know it has a couple little insert pieces for the roof, but I just wanted the standard model just to have one for display. So I'm gonna open this up real quick. There's a little hatch here that does open up and releases the car out. Um, so let's pull that out right now. So there it is, a beautiful, beautiful piece. It is a 124 scale NASCAR, so it's much larger than actual little die-cast Moss Jam trucks. If I actually bring one into frame here, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so it definitely is a 124 scale size. Okay, so here we go. The Kevin Harvick number four grave digger style scheme. This thing is, I keep saying so cool, but there are really no other words to say other than amazing, cool, incredible. It's just a beautiful piece. And because it is an official model tier car, it has graphics that are absolutely 100% crystal clear. They do not skip out on their models there. They are very expensive, I should say, um, upwards of $100 just for when it's on the actual website, not even after it hits secondary markets. So this is really a treat to have such clear graphics on something like this. You can definitely see the Gravedigger scheme like never before on Diecast. So here we go. Let's take a look at the left side here. You can see we do have Goodyear sponsoring on the tire sidewall as well as the fender here. There is a beadlock on this rim that is painted red. They even have the lug nuts painted in yellow and you can see the rim detail. I really love how they go in depth with the detail in these cars. You can see it says NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car. Then we have the Gravedigger Scheme starting on the left tier. We have Monster Jam, the Gravedigger Moon with the Haunted House tree and the Purple Fog as well as the Tombstones and Green Fog. They did add the number four as the car is numbered. So we have the number four in purple and yellow, as well as the Bush Light sponsorship there and Gravedigger logo with the Gravedigger Mountain on the backside here. We do have the gas cap area here, just like the real car had with the green uh, Get Bioethanol uh, logo around that. And then we have um, a Jimmy John sponsor, uh, Hunt's Brothers Pizza, and I'm not too sure what this sponsor is. I don't want to mess up the pronunciation, but there's another sponsor there. We, of course, have Mobile as one of the sponsors, the Purple Fog continuing up to the top. Kevin Harvick's name with the American flag. And then Ford Mobile, that same sponsor, and a couple others there. The roof of the car has number four with the Grave Digger flames, like the real-life roof has on the real Moss Jam truck. And then we have the Bush Light sponsor right up there. Uh, which actually just says Bush with a bunch of H's. I just realized that. Uh, then Harvick and a couple cool details with some orange painted on there. I'm sure it was an accurate detail of the car, back windshield. Um, but there's some plastic pieces there. And then the tailgate of the car has Monster Jam, Bad to the Bone, taillights printed, mobile, Ford, number four. And this side, same exact stuff going on. 
uh, with the addition of some window printing on this area. And there's those logos and sponsors. And then the front grill here, Mustang with the full Mustang grill wrap. We have the headlights, number four. And then of course the Ford emblem on the hood with the flames and Gravedigger stacked logo with Monster Jam on either side. And this hood does open. So you can see here, the hood does open up. It does say, there's even logos printed in here. It does say powered by Ford, uh, mobile one, um, I think that says Haas. I'm just going to go with that as the sponsor there and the Wix sponsor. And then you can see the motor inside there. Super cool. Not heavily detailed. Obviously, the Elite model probably has more detail than this, but still amazing how they actually did the hood popping open so you can actually look inside. I don't collect any other NASCAR vehicles. I'm sure they all do this and they all have that standard idea of how this works. But uh, to me, it's very impressive just to see it that way. And inside the car, we do have um, some printing on the actual... Uh, steering wheel column and the speedometer and all that stuff. There is a fire extinguisher inside. We have the netting here, which is actually netting, not plastic. That's really cool. And um, if we can look through this window, maybe you can see it better. There's some detail inside there, uh, but there's that. And then these do pop up. I'm not again sure what they actually do. I'm assuming uh, either it's part of the real car or it's just a feature of the car uh, die cast, but you can see they pop open and there's not anything inside there. There's kind of lift up. They might be for uh, speed control. I'm not too sure. Again, not a NASCAR fan officially, but I do love this model. So there it is. The Kevin Harvick number four Gravedigger Livery by Lionel for the NASCAR standard model series. I don't have the elite model. I don't plan on getting it, but this has been the review of the standardized model in the best way that I could do as a non-NASCAR fan, just a Moss Gym fan looking in on the NASCAR world. But I gotta say, I'm definitely more than impressed with the level of detail that Lionel puts into their NASCAR models, but I love this piece. It will go into a display case and be displayed next to my other Moss GM diecasts. I really loved the sponsorship and collaboration. I hope they do more in the future with trucks like El Toro Loco and Max D, Megalodon. There are so many different things they could do. And I love that Moss Jam is reaching out not only to their own fans, but now other brands that have racing based sports to kind of expand the Moss Jam brand the most that they can. So this has been super awesome. Thank you again to Donald Price Jr. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this somewhat review of the Kevin Harvick number four Gravedigger style body. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster OCD signing out.